Welcome to Straw Family Farm Take 2. I'm Christy. Today in my Bible study, we have Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. So yeah, the ultimate faith. You just have to have the ultimate faith. Uh, believe without knowing, without understanding. Just believe it and go from there so yeah um i'm probably about halfway through my bible study so yeah it's getting there <laughs> um all right so this week i didn't get too much crafty done oh sorry so roommate's still working was it four tens to eight? So like 56 hours a week. Um, I did a little crocheting each evening. And then this Saturday, um, I went through and cleaned some things that just were built up. I didn't want roommate to feel bad. And, you know, because things are, roommates working a lot and things just aren't getting done. So one of the things I did was I went and washed all the ceiling fan blades because they were disgusting. Okay. I don't know how ceiling fans get so filthy, but they do. So, um, I did that. I swept and mopped all the floors. I vacuumed. I did, you know, just kind of a deep clean. Um, and then not only that, I mowed just the yard part. It takes me too long to push mow. Uh, roommate has a, like a rider. It's not a rider. It says zero control. I don't know how to use it. Okay. I can do a regular riding lawnmower. This is like a... And I don't, I've just never gotten on it, learned. It's not that hard. I just haven't done it. So, um, I push mowed the yard for the dogs, um, did all the laundry, did just kind of cleaned up because things were just kind of getting behind. Okay. If you know what I mean, it just, things were piling up when you work 56 hours every week you have one day off you know you do the bare minimum around the house so i helped out and just did everything got everything done and so that was you know kind of my saturday thing uh i've been trying to work on which is a funny story i've been trying to work on this okay and i literally have gotten just a little bit of the sleeve done. Every evening when I come in, I told you I like to, I eat dinner and then I sit on the couch and I normally have worm, you know. Well, he has started this thing that every time I pick up my crochet, he attacks. He thinks he's just gonna, I don't know what the deal is, why it's happening. So I end up putting it down, telling him no, blah, 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 and then spending some time with him. I think he's doing it just to get attention. I don't know. But I literally, in four or five days, I may have gotten a few rounds on that sleeve done. Not that I didn't try, but the dog thinks that he needs all my attention. I don't know. So, all right. Um, I did end up finishing this. I don't have the eyes on them. I still have, I still have put the eyes on the B2, but there's the little cow. I don't know. It looks more like a puppy dog with that down. I'm not really sure how they get cow out of this. Maybe it'll look better with the eyes. I don't know. But anyway, um, that's done. <coughs> now I did, um, make a cover. I didn't bring it back in because it's out on the boat. I made roommate a cover for the new 
uh, electronic thing that, um, or locator or whatever, uh, for the boat. And it's just denim with some white inside, white lining, and then it's drawstring. It's nothing, and it's an elastic drawstring, so it closes up around the bottom. And it's just so that when you lay it flat, if it gets thunked, you know, it, it might not scratch and all of that stuff. So, um, it's just kind of protection for them. And I do put some batting in there. Uh, it is what it is. So, I made that. Don't have a picture of it. Um... The other little bit of sewing I did is an idea that I had, and I looked online, and I'm not seeing any of it, but I made this. Now, <laughs> this is going to look ridiculous, I guess. I don't know. At work, in my drawer, I have a bunch of drink packets, okay? And I thought it'd be cool to have a way to transport these. So, when you open this up, this has your little drink packets in it. Um, there's eight. I don't know how many people how many people would need in a day or two. But I was thinking that this would be cute to put in my wallet. So, I... Uh, couldn't really find a pattern, so I made one up, and uh, I haven't seen anything like it, so I don't know. You know what I mean? It's just a little roll-up pocket thing, and I just measured it and went on. Uh, it was really simple to make, honestly, super simple. And I just put a tie ribbon as a closure. Uh, this one I'm going to give to someone at work. I'm going to make a couple others and go from there. So the people that I do give to at work are going to get handmade tea, cozy, or tea wallet, or they're going to get one of these. And I think that is about all I'm going to do, honestly. Uh, that's going to be Christmas. Um, I might do some little ornaments. I did that last year for everybody. I don't know. It just depends. Just depends. So, anyway. Um, also, I have three hankies, all that match, with little lace on one corner. I went to try and find some hunter green embroidery thread and because they had embroidery thread on sale it was all sold out. So I'm going to have to um, probably go online to find hunter green but yeah we'll see. If I can find the hunter green, I'm going to do uh, Macy's mom, me, and Macy a hanky for the wedding. Just say That would be, you know, something that we all have in common. I don't know. Anyway. So that's a little bit of sewing that I did. Now, I had another little issue. And, yeah. Okay, we've been having a lot of wind here and storms. Um, I don't know. Let me see if I can. I'll tell you what. We, I'm just going to tell you about it. Then I'm actually going to try and insert these pictures into the video. So, um. I'll see if I can insert them right here. Okay, so 
Wednesday, no, Tuesday, Wednesday, earlier last week, I don't remember what day, um, I took a walk down to the pond, everything was fine, and then, um, Sunday, when I went down there, we found that, um, so, I, we don't know when it came over, the wind was really strong some days, and then there were some other days that it wasn't as bad, we don't know, um, we don't know, it could have just come down because of erosion, we don't think so, um, I'm thinking because it was an oak tree, number one, and it was right on the bank of the pond, it wasn't up on the little dam that holds water, it was on the edge of the pond. I'm thinking it was too wet and maybe root rot because I don't think oaks are made to be in ponds. And I mean, half of the tree was in the pond. It was like growing right at water level. We'd go up and down, up and down. It worked for years, but we've had so much drought and now we've gotten so much rain. It hasn't dried out where his thing is, so the water line has moved, and I think that there has been, I think there's some root rot going on. Um, the one end is pretty easy to assess from the bank, so I'm going to get over there, and I'm going to put a chain around it, and uh, use a tractor, and basically just spin it around and pull it straight out. Then the plan is to cut it up and use it for firewood. So um, if I can get it out of there here in the next, I don't know how long, because if it sits in the water too long, it's going to get so waterlogged that I don't know that it'll be good for burning. So um, I need to get it out of there and get it done. And so, yeah, um, it is what it is. Uh, I had actually wanted to keep that one around the pond. Um, I was going to try and keep all the oak and sort through. And if you remember, I cleaned out, um, I cleaned, I probably have two thirds of the pond cleaned out. I just have the dam left to go. And of course that's when things start coming down, which doesn't make any sense. I cleaned and I removed trees and I did been working on that pond for a couple of years and yeah every spring I go out there and clean it out and get everything yeah I don't know anyway so that happened um and just everyday life going on and like I said um if you're interested in seeing how to do this, uh, let me know. I might, you know, I looked for a tutorial and, you know, you can find tea cozies. You cannot find drink packet holders. Um, I actually tried to find something, you know, see what other ideas they had besides the roll up. And pretty much, they're not. So, I don't know. I don't know if I should do it. I, I did this one, and I think it's cute. But I was thinking I should just do it, do a package, you know, a cloth pack, and then have a fold over top and snap it shut. And then you can put three or four in there. I don't know. don't know. So, I'm going to go with this one for now and maybe play around next week and see but uh, I'm gonna get my Christmas list ready and go from there because I had a bunch of tea cozies already um, or tea wallets and then I got those I also saw some really cute crocheted um, coffee cup warmers or hand things so you don't you know the little cozies that go around like this so that you know where you're holding does so saw those and I might crochet some of those um 
and call it good for Christmas. And then I got to figure out what the kids want to do. So I don't know. All right. I'm off of here. I will talk at y'all later. Have a blessed week. And uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Talk to y'all later. Bye.